Hi everybody, this is Mr. Cadenhead. I want to take a few minutes today to review our pause program and procedures for students so you're confident navigating our program. PAUSE is an acronym and it stands for Personal Achievement with Support. Um, PAUSE purpose, the purpose of our Personal Achievement with Support program at Folsom High, is to allow student choice over academic time. Emphasize personal responsibility and time management, which we talk about all the time. We will offer occasional social emotional learning and academic competency lessons around recognizing, let's say, depression or anxiety, self-harm, mindfulness, um, all kinds of different things uh, regarding social emotional learning and academic competency lessons on occasion around, you know, note taking or absence management or self advocacy or writing professional communications and whatnot. So we will occasionally use your pause period to deliver some of these lessons to you as well. Uh, we also want you to have access to reteaching from your teachers so that you can travel back to your academic teachers and receive the support that you need. And we want to increase communication and opportunities for communication with your teachers. So uh, pause is during your, obviously, during block days, during your um, designated pause time on typically on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And our suggested activities for students would be to study independently or with classmates during this time. You can also actually complete your homework if you already have your homework at this point in time. Make up a quiz or test, receive missed work following an absence. We know absence management can be challenging sometimes and this gives you a chance twice a week, two hours a week to go back and see teachers and get what you missed. Meet with any teacher for reteaching. Work on a project at times with group members. Certainly you can read a book um, and get ahead or preview material is always smart, especially certain times of the year. And there are times of the year where you really wanna go back and recursively review material to prepare you for your finals or your midterms. Um, you wanna constantly be circling back to your learning targets and materials uh, that you had, your academic vocabulary earlier in the semester so that we avoid uh, last minute studying for midterms, big tests, unit tests, and certainly our finals in December, okay? So our procedures for pause. Pause uh, starts at 1018, but you have your travel period, um, just like always our transition time, seven minutes. So from 1011 to 1018, you're gonna travel to your pause class. Uh, and your pause class is your third period teacher for most students. There are some students who are reassigned a pause class for a variety of reasons, but most people travel to their third period teacher for pause. Uh, teachers will then take pause attendance and you need to follow their procedures. And then as students, you have two options. One, you can remain in your assigned pause class. You don't need to do anything. You can just sit down in your pause class, get to work on what you're working on, or you can choose to travel to another teacher on your student schedule. So the teacher does need to be on your student schedule with very few exceptions that I'll talk about later. And so you are gonna fill in your destination on the travel spreadsheet and your teachers will share that with you. And the idea behind that is by telling uh, your teacher and writing down where you're headed, if a parent came to check you out early, we had an emergency, we needed to find you, we need to go to your third period teacher and figure out to where you traveled. So your third period teacher will keep a list where you go so we know where you are at all times. So you're also gonna fill in your pause port and you're going to present your destination to your pause teacher for verification. And I will show you that sheet. So if you wanna travel, you need to do two things. One, make sure you fill in uh, your destination on the travel spreadsheet. Two, put it in your pause port and have your teacher sign you off or stamp you so that you can move on to your destination. So your pause port travel um, inside your pause port, excuse me, let me go back, looks like this. And so you're going to write your destination request down where you're headed. Say you're going to go to Miss Johnstone's class. Um, you're going to have your current pause teacher stamp you. And when you get to your destination, you're going to have Miss Johnstone stamp you as well. To, that's the accountability to make sure you arrive where you say that you're going. Okay. And... I'll talk about a possible second destination if you wanted to do that as well and how to navigate that. But inside your pause port, when those arrive, this is what that page is gonna look like and every pause day has a space for you to fill these in in your pause port. 
Continuing with our procedures, there is a possibility your teacher may mandate your travel. So if a teacher stamps your pause port requesting your attendance during a specific pause period, you have to travel to that teacher. It doesn't happen a lot, but if you're not taking care of your responsibilities at times, a teacher will come to you and say, on a Monday, I want you coming to me on Thursday, for example, during pause, and your teacher can stamp a request to have you come back to them. If they do that, you have to go, okay? So for example, your first period math teacher could stamp your pause port requiring you to attend her Thursday or Wednesday pause. Students who are requested by a teacher have to travel to that teacher for pause. Again, doesn't happen a lot. If you're taking personal responsibility and, and, and using time wisely and academics are going well, this probably is never gonna happen. But if we have to uh, help support you a little bit more and stamp your pause um, passport to make sure you get where you're supposed to go, we will do that as well. Um, and so before 1025, remember uh, you have uh, 1011, let's go back just a second, from 1011 to 1018. At 1018, pause starts. And before 1025, you have to arrive at your destination. So wherever you're traveling to, you have to get there uh, before 1025. And then when you get your destination, teachers are going to stamp your pause port to verify that you arrived. At 1118, pause ends. And then you travel to your next block period, which typically is third period on Wednesday, fourth period on Thursday. Okay. It is possible that if you need to go to a second destination, you can do that. Um, but you have to have prior approval from the receiving teacher in the form of a stamp on the student's pause port. And the stamp has to be obtained prior to the current pause period. So if on Thursday I want to go two places, the second teacher that I want to go to is Miss Gillen. So I'm going to go to, uh, let me see, I'm going to go to Mr. Mills for, as my first teacher. But then midway through pause, I want to go to Miss Gillen because I have a short quiz to make up over there. I need before that day to get Miss Gillen to stamp my second destination line back in my pause port. Going back for just a second, there is a second destination line at the on Wednesday and Thursday here. She has to stamp that indicating that I can travel to a second destination. Can't be done in the moment. A teacher should not just send you to a second destination without a stamp. You need to make sure you have that stamp ahead of time. And if you do that, you can travel to that second destination. So other general rules, students should travel only the teachers on their schedule unless a teacher not on the student's schedule requests your attendance by stamping your pause port prior to the pause period in question, okay? So again, if that teacher is not on your academic class schedule, but they wanna see you, they need to stamp ahead of time so your pause teacher knows it's okay. Students should complete the pause port in pen, not pencil. And if a destination classroom is full, so if you go somewhere and it's full of students and full is written, then full is written on the pause port by that teacher and you need to immediately return to your original pause classroom. So you need to go back to your assigned pause room. That's especially important right now um, as we are keeping track of seating in your destinations in pause classes in case we had to track and trace in case of an exposure. All right, if a teacher limits incoming pause travel for a specific purpose, the purpose should be noted on the pause schedule. Uh, and since uh, pause is academic time, club meetings may not be scheduled. And the school policy regarding cell phone use applies to pause. If you guys are unclear on the cell phone policy, you want to go back and um, look in your student handbook, which is available on the website under our school right now, as you don't have those pause ports in your hand, go under our school pause port and you can access the current pause port right now regarding cell phones. But in short, uh, in order to have your personal cell phone out in pause or an academic class, you have to have explicit permission from the teacher. Otherwise, it should not be out of your backpack or your pocket, okay? I wanna go back for a second to that first bullet as well. It says that the purpose should be noted on the pause schedule. That's kind of an older rule. I will amend that here shortly, but we're not using a pause schedule anymore. So if a teacher is limiting incoming pause, you might travel to a pause class and see again that it's full or there's a, a purpose going on in that class. And you may need to travel back again to your assigned pause class if it's full or there's another activity going on in that class.
All right. I know that's a lot of information. Um, we're going to be giving out pause uh, copies of the pause port for you guys to use in the coming weeks until we get those pause ports delivered to us. Um, otherwise, ask your third period teacher, please, to review any of these items for you uh, or an administrator or a counselor, and we're happy to help you. All right. Have a great day.